There's Poochie. That means the boss is in. Hi. Hi, Poochie. I'm glad E.G. is in today. Uh, maybe we'll see him, huh? You know, I've been working here ten years, and I never even met the boss. The only one who ever sees E.G. is little Poochie there. Poochie's his best friend, named his column after. Attention, please. Poochie is in zone one. Poochie operating system activated. Poochie translator activated. Poochie clear to audio command mode. Good morning, Hermes. Good morning, Poochie. Any contacts from EG? Uh, negative. Okay, let's see the Dear Poochie mail. Activate zip code. <laughs> zip code, please read. Will do. Dear Poochie, <laughs> I like the boy next to me in class. Such a sloppy machine. But he is shy, and I am too. How can I start a conversation with him? Susie. Dear Susie, write a little note saying something fun and nice to him. Stick it on his locker so he sees it. It will help you both get started. Signed, Poochie. Okay, zip code, are there any urgent ones? Dear Poochie, my dad is an archaeologist. We were deep down in a pyramid when all of a sudden my dad disappeared. I searched everywhere for him, but he's nowhere. I'm still looking. I don't have money. I'm hungry, too. And some strange-looking men are chasing me. Please help me. Help me. Signed, Danny Evans. Letter postmarked, Cairo, Egypt. No return address on envelope. Did you check that story, Hermes? Yes. Uh, the research department says it seems authentic. Okay, Hermes, we're going to Cairo. Cairo? Negative. Uh, we, we can't go. Ichi left us in charge of the magazine while he's off doing important things. First, Hermes, that boy and his dad need our help. Secondly, here's a reminder. I, Edward Gregory Prince, bestow upon Pucci authority over my businesses and worldly goods. She will aid those in need just as I will. Hermes has been built to understand, obey, okay, okay. and assist her. Got the point? Oh, yes, of course. Affirmative, affirmative. This time, I'll use my normal British accent. How do I look? Whoa, 
while we wait for our contact to show up, you question the humans, I'll talk to the animals. I also will talk to the animals. My translator device allows me to talk to animals other than yourself. Faster, Hermes. All right. I am Ali, your Cairo contact. I'll show you the pyramid of Nick Nick Norton. I hope it's not too late. Too late for what? To save them from the curse of the Pharaoh. The curse of the Pharaoh? Okay, Pucci. This is as far as I go. Ditto. I'm not programmed to enter a forbidden pyramid. Then wait out here. I can move faster without a hulk of microchips trailing after me. I am not a hulk. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Can you see? I see fine in the dark. So do I. Oh. I'm picking up a blip on my screen. What's that? It came from over there. He must be in the mummy case. I'm really blipping. Open the mummy case. Sorry, I'm not programmed to open a mummy case. Open it. That's an order. All systems stand by for disaster. Danny! Huh? <laughs> well, hello there. You're Danny Evans, right? Yes. But how... You sent this letter to the dear Poochie column. Oh! So you're Hermes and Poochie from World Now. Oh! I knew they'd help me. Danny, I personally would like to help you find your father. Any idea where he might be? I'll show you where I last saw him. He was standing right here, reading the hieroglyphics. Hmm. I can interpret this. And I was standing here. And then I turned around, and Dad was gone. He's gone. Just like my dad. You called? What happened? I merely solved the mystery of where your father went. Stand next to me. Ready? Wow! This sure is a small room. Your father must have been here and gone onward. This is it! Okay, ready, everybody? We're going to spin around like the other wall. Here we go! Hey, 
Hittites have devoted our whole lives to protect the eternal rest of the Pharaoh. But again today, intruders have broken into our world. Kum, High Priestess, in the name of Osiris, you must call the ultimate punishment. But wait! I've lost my dog, I told you. I must find it. Oh! These people have no manners. That's only the beginning, sir. Dad! Danny! Oh, no! Dad, this is Hermes. I wrote a letter to Dear Pucci and they sent him to help. Thank you for coming. Sorry about this. These people are Nickites. A group sworn thousands of years ago by King Nick Nick Naughton to protect the sanctity of his tomb. What a great discovery, Dad. Not only that, the awful part is they never allow anyone to leave here alive. Wow. Oh, dear. I wonder where uh, my dog is. Come, my high priestess. All is in readiness for the sacrifice. I hate these sacrifices. Why don't we use the Forgotten Flower again? With the Forgotten Flower, the intruders lose only the memory of our world, not their lives. It was too long ago. The Forgotten Flower might not be usable. We must try. We cannot risk it. The sacrifices must take place. You will give the commands. Oh, sacred Osiris. Tell me what to do. Give me a sign. Please give me the power to save those people. A little dog! The sign of Osiris! Poti, come quickly! The goddess has given me a miraculous sign! Here, look! A pink and white little dog! Not sacrifice this boy. Why? He too is an intruder. He must be sentenced like the others. Do it now. I, Kum, High Priestess of the Tomb of Nick Nick Naughton, decree that the intruders will be silenced forever. Your High Priestess, Ms. Kum, I require more input data. Silence! will become mummies. Mummies? So that you may join King Nick Nick Nutton in his journey through eternity. <laughs> Just a moment. Oh, this is outrageous. What do you think you're... <laughs> Seal them into the intruder's chamber. Thank you. 
sanctity of the Pharaoh. Stop them! <laughs> Doesn't look good for us. Hermes! Hermes! Hermes, I have an idea, but I need your help. What do you mean, my help? Special effect equipment, laser ray, flash beam, and assorted sound effects. Sound effects? The one I saw through the eye of the goddess Osiris. I knew it was a sign. Speak, O messenger of Osiris. The goddess Osiris sent me as a messenger of peace. Osiris wants the sacrifices ended. Osiris says it is time to use the forgotten flower. Oh, great messenger. The forgotten flower is too dangerous. It has not been used for many centuries. Osiris has spoken. Hermes! I, Kuhn, High Priestess, decree that the forgotten flower will be used to erase all memories of our world. Bring it forth. Beautiful messenger, thank Osiris for showing us the way. Does that mean that I'll never remember anything of this world? Of you? Yes. But I won't forget you. Probably we will see each other again in our dreams. <laughs> Your way of life is one of the wonders of the world. You're entitled to keep it secret. Aromas and gases don't affect me. What do I do? Fake it. Fake it? Fake it. Thank you. Hey, your turn. Oh, yes, sir. I'm coming. Go ahead. <laughs> Last thing I remember was falling through a trap door. Hi, Fuji. <laughs> hey, it's like a pendant around your neck. Huh? How did this get here? Let me see it. Dad, I had a dream about a strange girl. What's this? Someone, somehow, somewhere, will remember you forever. It's signed, Coom. Coom? <laughs> oh, we're back. You're all right. What a horrible place that was, those people and their nick-nick. Oh, oh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> You're right. I really just can't seem to remember a thing.
Ever wonder what it's like to fly just like a rocket? Well, meet the little prince. I catch flaming comets and fly all over space. The wild geese pull me up into the sky so I can catch the comets when they streak by. Then I go to wonderful places all over the universe. In his new planet-hopping adventure, Next Stop Planet Earth, those flaming comets take the little prince to his favorite planet of all. First, the little prince finds himself in the breathtaking Andes Mountains of South America. He helps a proud man fulfill a dream, a dream to fly higher than eagles fly. Then it's off to London, where our hero explores this exciting new city and meets another interesting friend. Good morning, sir. I'm the little prince. A prince, eh? Well, I'm Harvey, king of the chimney sweeps. The little prince stages an unusual reunion between Harvey and his beautiful ballerina daughter. And with wonderful stories to tell, the little prince heads back to the tiny planet he calls home. The Little Prince, Next Stop Planet Earth. Volume 2 in a series of home video collectibles. At $39.95, it's an adventure you can't afford to miss. Only on Children's Video Library.